Hey guys, what's up? So, I wanted to talk about fitness a little bit, though, since I post videos on it. And the content that I post, it seems like what to watch. This is a bunch of fitness videos. Same thing with ads on Facebook. At least if I keep my Facebook page, well, my account open, whatever I search on the net, it's going to refer to that. I constantly see so much bullshit out there on shortcuts, quickest way to get ripped, six minute abs, all that mumbo jumbo, whatever you want to call it. Especially with this fitness celebrity guy, Mike Chang, who I've mentioned before. The guy's a fake. Okay, whatever. He's big, ripped and stuff, but what he's saying is not true. It's complete bullshit. You know, he doesn't give a shit about you. He is sponsored by people, you know, with com he's working with companies to make revenue, money. They care about numbers. You know, it's all about marketing, though. They don't care about you. They don't care about your goals, your needs. All they want to do is take your money and make sure that you're happy with their product. They're trying to sell a product that pretty much is just whatever. Made out of thin air, you know? Tell me this. How the hell are you supposed to have a fortune, a million dollar piece of artwork, like your own body, when you're only going to work with a minimum wage work ethic? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up. You know, if you want to get over here, you got to bust your ass. You know, you just can't make the shortcut because nothing that's easy, nothing that's easy is worth it. I'm sorry. That goes to a lot of things. You know, goals, women, women. I, I mean, seriously, you, I hope you get the idea and the message, so. I just hope with these people, you know, that are making so much money off talking out of their asses, though, and they're getting paid to do it, though, when they start to realize that people are starting to think, use their damn fucking head, and go with something that has always been around, you know, the basics of exercise, calisthenics, weight training, Long, hard hours working, grinding, teeth grunching, strenuous type work that majority of the people of the world do not want to do. They start applying to that kind of method, doing that kind of work and sticking with that work ethic, you know. Numbers are going to drop. All these big companies and gyms and stuff like that, they're going to see wait, what, 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 what's happening, you know. Seriously. Well, fitness was whatever, like, 50 years ago, 60 years ago. Yeah, some a lot of people didn't work out, though, but for those people that did, though, they didn't need all that fancy stuff that there is out there today. Out in the market, all this product, they, they didn't need that. They don't need special milkshake protein supplements. No. Fruits, vegetables, meat, chicken natural whole foods and just hard ass fucking work every day or at least every other day but doing something every day though but not being lazy if you're one of those people that are getting in shape my advice to you don't follow that if, it, if something like that ever approaches you Cancel it. Go with something that you probably learned in PE in school. That is, if you actually did some exercise in PE in the first place. You know? So, some, some good push ups, pull ups, sit ups, sprints, 200 yard sprints. Or go for a run. So, don't worry about time or distance. Just go for a certain couple blocks or so, give or take. Just run at really good pace, though, knowing that you're going to be breathing heavy, panting.
come back, you know, do it again, or go around however, well, yeah, whether it's 30 minutes or so, but always go out there and do something. So don't, don't take the easy way out of shortcuts because you're going to get half-assed results with a half-assed effort. That's the truth.